So in this next page, they ask us to solve them by substitution, but you'll notice that um, now both the equations are in standard form. This one is negative 7, 7x minus 4y is equal to 27. But this next one has a 1 as a coefficient for this x. So what I want to do with this is to get this y all by itself. I do that by moving and adding 2x to both sides. So that gives me y is equal to positive 2x minus 3. Now, once it's done this way, I can go through and take all of this and plug it in and replace it with this y. And that's what it means to do by substitution. I'm going to just take all of that, and wherever I have y, I want to replace it with the entire piece. So now I can rewrite this as negative 7x minus 4 times, again, all of what I solved for, 2x minus 3. And now that's equal to 27. And remember, this is a systems of equations, so our final answer has to be an ordered pair, that value of x and y. All right, so I'm going to bring down my negative 7x. I take my negative 4, make sure you use the negative 4, and multiply it times 2x and negative 3, which will give us a negative 8x plus 12 is equal to 27. Combine my like terms, which will give me a negative 15x plus 12 is equal to 27. Now I want to solve for x, so I subtract 12 from both sides, and I'm left with negative 15 is equal to 15. Divide both sides by a negative 15, and we have our first solution, x is equal to 1. Now, that's not done. Now we have to go back up to the beginning and find what y is. So, replace it y is equal to 2. That definitely its a negative 1. So that's going to be 2 times negative 1 minus 3. So that is going to be y is equal to negative 2 minus 3, and my y value is negative 5. So my ordered pair solution is negative 1 comma negative 5. I am going to do one more question because question six is pretty much the same, but the values look just looks a little different. So that one's x minus 7y is equal to negative 32. And then second equation is 2x that I have is 2x plus 3y is equal to 20. Now with this one, I want to focus on getting x all by itself because when I'm doing this, I'm looking for the variable that has a coefficient of 1. So I'm going to, for this one, add my 7y to both sides. And by doing that, I get x is equal to 7y minus 32. So it's a little bit different when we're dealing with... Um, X, it looks a little strange, but the idea is the same. So now we're still going to take everything that I solved for X for, which is that 7Y minus 32. And I'm going to take it and plug it in for X. So negative 2 times, again, everything that I solved for the X. So that is going to be 7Y minus 32 plus 3y is equal to 20. Distribute my negative 2. And that leaves me with negative 14y. That becomes a positive 64 because it's a negative times a negative. Plus 3y is equal to 20. I want to go ahead and combine my like terms. That's a negative 14 and a positive 3. So that is negative 11y. I'm going to go ahead and just subtract 64 from both sides here as well. And I get a negative 11y is equal to negative 44. And finally, I divide both sides by 11. 
and get the fact that now I have y is equal to a positive 4. So that's my first solution. But again, remember, you have to always answer for these as an ordered pair. So in order to find out what that ordered pair is, I have to go all the way back to the top and find out what x is. So x is equal to 7 times my y value I just found, which is 4, minus 32. So x is equal to 28 minus 32, or x is equal to negative 4. And again, you must write your answer as an ordered pair, always x for first, so that's negative 4 comma 4. So that would be your final answer for this type of question 6.